Hello and welcome to another time of Bible teaching. Current events, wow. How often do you see me do a video about current events? A bunch about Israel and war in Israel, but that's those were pretty much straight out of prophecy or straight out of scripture. But current events, no, that's generally not what I do. Oops, sorry about that. We'll stay here. Um, but this one was posted on Facebook by somebody who I trust and somebody I respect. So I'm just going to jump right into it. We're not opening up our Bibles. This is not necessarily a Bible study. But there was a white rainbow um, that visible, spotted in northern Israel. And this web, this is from Israel 365 News. And the date on this is February 11th. 2024, 2024. So it was just recently. And according to this, it was spotted on Friday. You know, I start thinking, okay, white rainbow, white rabbit, you know, um, you know, white rabbit talking backwards. But a white rainbow, it's this is a fog rainbow. And bottom line is, according to the Zohar, it is a um, sign that the, of the Messiah soon return. Um, and the Zohar is kind of like the Talmud, it's the teachings of rabbis from old. And this is just, you know, Jewish understanding. Doesn't mean it's true, but it doesn't mean it's not. But I find it, I found it interesting, so I thought I would share it with you. A white rainbow composed of mist and spotted in northern Israel on Friday by yeah, that person, who is an ornithologist, they study birds, at the Society of the Protection of Nature. Um, as the name suggests, this phenomenon is very similar to a colorful rainbow we normally see, but is formed in fog rather than rain. Um, because of the very small size of the water droplets in the fog, less than 0 0.05 millimeters, the colors in such rainbows are very weak, and you can mainly see the color white, with a little red on the outside and a little blue on the inside. In a normal rainbow, water droplets break the light into the colors, and each color is perceived at a slightly different angle. In a rainbow that appears in fog, the water droplets are small and close together, um, and um, close to each other, so that the color mix again and are perceived as white. This is also what happens normally in the clouds, which is why they are perceived to be white. Um, we're going to skip down to here. But according to the Zohar, a rainbow of bright colors or entirely of white marks the imminent arrival of Messiah. And it is a reminder of our covenant of the of biblical patriarchs with God a promise to return the people of Israel, the land, I'm sorry, and God's promise to return the people of Israel to the land of Israel. When God does so, he will adorn the people of Israel with all the decorations of a bride. Hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I skip this part, probably shouldn't have. Many people are seeing this rare phenomenon reminded our section of the Zohar, section 1, 72b, that differentiates between a dark-colored rainbow and a light-colored rainbow. The Zohar writes that the rainbow in dark colors reminds us that God made a covenant at the time of Noah, Noah um, they, I'm sorry, promising not to flood to be uh, not to flood the world again. A third rainbow should awaken us to repentance that the gods of the gods covenant, it's interesting, the gods of the gods covenant, the Jewish thing, what can I say? In the days of Noah were bound by the law of the 16th century. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're saying there. Anyhow, just a little dirt out there. I mean, we see it. Um, I'm looking for it this fall in Rosh Hashanah. But it's kind of interesting that something like this would pop up, like the Jews are saying, is an imminent sign of the return of Messiah. Anyhow, God bless you. You take care. Bye.